CSS today. We're doing our Speed Watch program, it's part of the community policing suite of programs that we deliver to the community. Our Speed Watch are volunteers. They're out here really raising awareness around speeding in school zones. Uh, we're back to school right now, obviously, and not a lot of not all drivers are aware that they have to slow down to 30k. Uh, between the eight hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So the stats show that speed awareness slows traffic down in, in different corridors. We have high crash zones in this community uh, that we tend to set up on, like Johnson Road is a corridor. We really want to slow people down through there, coming in and, and through town. Uh, school zones, playground zones, um, and you know some of the bigger streets like Stamp Avenue, Beaver Creek. We really want to focus on uh, getting people to change the behavior, slow down and check their speed. They don't issue tickets, really. The Speed Watch program is all about showing drivers what their speeds are to create perhaps a change in behavior, uh, to say, oh, uh, I'm going a little fast. Now, uh, if they're really speeding, we will record uh, their license plate number and a warning letter will be sent out uh, by the detachment as another form of prevention to say, hey, you were caught speeding, slow down. It blows me away, really. The dedication these people have, they don't ask for anything. And they come out time and time again because they care about their community. You know, they do way more than just speed uh, awareness or speed watch. Uh, we also check for people on their phones, so we're doing cell watch at the same time today. So uh, making sure people aren't distracted. We are going to start up our crime watch program, which is really getting out on the streets, driving around, observing, reporting and deterring crime. So the extra eyes for the police. The old saying is don't cry, apply. And uh, so if you're seeing issues in the community, uh, the police can only do so much. And, you know, join us, help us make that change, help us bring safety and security to the community through the volunteer programs. Our group is in need of new volunteers, uh, so please go visit our website uh, at www.pacommunitypolicing.com so that you can learn more about all the programs we provide and how to apply all the prerequisites. There's extensive training that goes along with volunteers uh, when you come on board. There's lots of good structure and support uh, for the volunteers. They feel like they're doing something that's important. Well, welcome back to another edition of Community Colour, bringing you arts and entertainment right here from the Alberni Valley. Well, this is an invitation for everybody to stop by the Roland Art Centre and check out this magnificent art exhibit that's currently running. It goes until October 2nd and it's titled Together. Now, this is a very unique show. It's a collaborative event of the talents of local First Nations artist Cecil Dawson. Everybody knows Cecil. And Alan Halverson, Nigel Atkin, Lori Sean Kuzman, and Jennifer Taylor. Now, again, this is very unique. Um, Cecil has collaborated with each one of these artists. So please check out this. Um, you can check out online, but certainly we hope you to stop by the Roland Art Centre today. Well, the next exhibit that's happening right here at the Roland Art Centre begins on October 7th and runs to the 31st. I know it's the next month away, but I want everybody to mark their calendars. It's titled Intro Retro, and it's with local artist Pam Turter and her grandson, Rylan Bourne. It's a bunch of um, acrylic paintings, there's some metal carvings, I believe, and some line drawings. So please stop by the Roland Art Centre on October 7th and check out this wonderful exhibit. Well, the Community Art Council's annual book sale is just around the corner. This year we have a new venue and a new date. We've moved it up till November 6th and 7th, so everybody can take advantage of it. And our new venue this year is at the Alberni Valley um, Athletic Hall. Now, again, our times are the same. All that information will be on the screen, so please stop by and help support the Roland Art Centre today. Well, we've had a few conversations with people over the last couple months about what's happening with our concerts that were supposed to be taking place in the Valley. Now, the David Bowie concert um, has a new name, and it is on November 19th at ADSS Auditorium. So anybody who has purchased pre 
purchase tickets prior to this. They will be honoured at the door. You can contact me to purchase tickets for the new um, concert coming up. And then there's Ron James. Now Ron James was originally supposed to be in town last spring and he has postponed it until May 4th of 2021. I know it's a bit away but they wanted to at least have their concert back in town. Now people who have uh, purchased their tickets they will still be honoured or you can call us for a refund today or you can pick up another ticket for that concert coming up. So for any of that information you can contact me at the Roland Art Centre or the information will be online. Well, if you're looking for some more books to read before our annual book sale, we have just the thing. We have our mystery book bags. Now, we've started that this summer and they've been very, very well received. We have books, bags, excuse me, mystery book bags available right here at the Roland Art Centre. You can call ahead and we can give you a curbside pickup or you can stop in the Roland Art Centre. You get 10 books for $20 and they're all divided into each genre. So we have fantasy, we have romance, we have mystery and we have children's books. So please contact us at the Roland Art Centre and pick up your mystery book bag today. Well, if you're looking for something to do with those extra bottles that you've saved up for the summer months, I've got a great idea. Donate them to the Roland Art Center. Now, you can stop by the Bottle Depot, and we have an account for the Roland Art Center, so you can deposit all your bottles underneath our name, and all the information will be on the screen, or you can contact me at the Roland Art Center for more information. Well, Shars presents Zoom. Yep, everybody's going by Zoom and so is Shars Landing. So Words on Fire are now going to be presented twice a month at Shars Landing or through Zoom. Uh, the second Wednesday of each month as well as the last Wednesday of each month. So for information um, for her tickets, you can contact her through the website that's available right now on the screen. Well, that's it for another edition of Community Colour. Now, if your organization would like to share any information online or on Shaw, please contact me at the Roland Art Centre. So until next time, I'm Melissa Martin for Community Colour.